In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add specific links that will jump from one page to a different page and a specific section in that different page. So we have a link here called Learn About Mark. If I click on that, it's going to take us to the section on the About page that is about Mark. I just clicked and now we're on the About page and we are at Mark's section. You'll see the About page is quite long and we jump down to where Mark's information is. The other link takes us down to Ben's section. We have a link right here under Ben that will take us over to Ben's section. And the technique I show you in this tutorial that you're going to learn in a few minutes can be used on any page builder, WordPress Gutenberg, straight HTML websites, pretty much any place you want. You can use anchor links like this. And they're super helpful for user experience because you can take people right to the information they're looking for with just one click. So to make this happen, we have to go back into our home page and create a link to the about page with a specific piece of code. Don't be worried about the code portion. It's really simple. And then we have to add a specific piece of code to the about page to connect the two. So let's go to the home page and do that section first. Click on edit with Elementor. This also works with any other page builder or WordPress, WordPress Gutenberg. Anchor links are very flexible. They work almost everywhere. Scroll down to where we meet our hosts. I'm going to add another line here. I'm going to say learn about Mark. How about learn more about Mark? This is going to be the link to his section on the about page. I'm going to add the same thing for Ben. Learn more about Ben. And we're going to add a link to each of these. So highlight the text. We can add a link right here. We can also do it on the left. I'll do it over here for Mark and over here on the left for Ben. Click on the link icon and I want to link to the about page. See if it brings it up. It doesn't. It doesn't bring it up automatically. So we need to know what our about page URL is. In my case, it is website URL slash about. I'm going to add a hashtag and this is where I'm going to add the specific piece of code I was talking about. The hashtag is part of it. Start with the hashtag and type in learn dash more dash about mark. And this is our anchor text. This piece of text needs to be only letters or numbers, dashes and underscores, no special characters. And you need to remember what this is. So I'm going to save the whole thing. And I'm going to add the same thing for Ben down here, but on the left hand side, add a link. Over here, we can search for the actual page. So it might be easier to do the anchor links on the left-hand side here. Search for the about page. There it is. Now it adds the link for us. I'm going to take away that backslash forward slash. doesn't actually matter. You can have a forward slash here or not. I'm going to add in here, learn more about Ben. In the other one, we had learn more about Mark. They have to be unique. Otherwise, the link won't know where to take you because you have two things saying the same thing. And there we go. Now this is going to take us to the about page. Let's click on update and let's view the page. Not in preview mode. Let's go right to the official homepage. We see our links added here. We can see in the bottom left has the hashtag learn more about Mark and then hashtag learn more about Ben. And when I click on these right now, it's going to add the hashtag to our address bar, but it's not going to actually go anywhere except for the top of the page. But at least it's going to go to the about page, which means we're almost there. Now we have to edit the about page with these anchors. So let's go to edit with Elementor on the about page. And we have to add these anchors to the specific places we want to jump people to. So for the learn more about Mark, that's this place right here. I'm going to click on the six dots for this section. I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to add my anchor text to my class ID without the pound. So for Mark, we had learn more about Mark. Learn dash more dash about, I'm going to copy this because the one for Ben is very similar. And this is going to take us to this section. You can also add this to images if you wanted. Click on the image, go to advanced, add a specific anchor. You can add it to paragraphs. Click on the paragraph, go to advanced, add a specific anchor. You get the idea. Pretty much everything in Elementor, you can add a CSS ID and you'll be jumped to that specific location using this technique. For Ben's section, click on the six dots, go to advanced, Learn more about Ben. Update. Now, if everything went correctly, that should be all we need. So let's go to our homepage. 
Let's see if that worked. Let's scroll down to our links. This should go to the About page and then to Mark's section. And there it is. We're on the About page. It added our hashtag, and we are at Mark's section. Now if I go back and try Ben's, this should take us to Ben's section. Boom, Bob's your uncle, there we are. We're on the About page, learn more about Ben. This is Ben's section. So that's how we add anchor links from one page to another in Elementor. And again, you can do this on any page builder, WordPress Gutenberg, straight HTML websites, anywhere, pretty much. You can use these anchor texts and be jumping from page to page and specific sections on each page using this technique. And next up, check out the Elementor Skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor Skills will be increased. So if you want to get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.